what we should do just for this episode, since TJ stole your move, we should steal his theme song, and that'll be the podcast intro. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave this in if you want to. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Killing the business. Yeah. Or, or KTB. Name KTB. KTB. <laughs> name redacted for reason. KTB episode seven. Let's go. Top Gun Forever Young. KTB. Episode seven. So let's start with the thing that everybody has been As talking about. As we usually about do. This year. Or this year. You know what? Maybe <laughs> this, this, this year. week. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Depending on how their show goes, it's TKW versus FU. The returning TKW. I don't know. Like, who's talking about TKW versus FU? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeping that out. I'm Good. bleeping that out. <laughs> I'm bleeping that out too. You're bleeping all these names out. You better keep this in. Just <laughs> go over this way a little bit. I think your shoulder's coming out. I might talk about it. <laughs> Stop naming names. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, all right, just, so, my bad. You got to believe all of that. So TKW is returning. Yes. After all the controversy that was last year. Yeah. Damn, that was just last year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're returning. Uh, For the second time. Yeah, because they did come back with a different name, New Edge Pro Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, but they never got to have their first show. They had their first show. We were on it, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, that was the first show, and then, like... But I, they did, then they had another show, and then... No, that show didn't happen. Oh, yeah, that show didn't happen. So now they're running, they're returning, and they're running against... For us wrestling with yes. Jeremiah Goldman. And, you know, we're not going to pick a side. All I'm going to say is uh, June 24th, you can see us at FU facing the Strange Bedfellows for the Trios Championships. Winning. Well, retaining the Trios yeah. Championships. Yeah, either, but, I mean, whichever way you want to put it. So I thought we should compare the cards. You know what? That sounds like a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Do they have matches announced? Which one? TKW. Yeah. They uh, do? So, Jack, Jake Crist versus MM3. Ooh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. We got Critical Content versus Midwest Bums. Don't get heat with me, brother, okay? What? That, that uh, is an actual match. The last time you called him that, the internet fucking oh, blew I'm the sorry, fuck up. I'm sorry, the, the freaking yeah. promo that... Yeah, stop working, all right? <sighs> no. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Whatever. And, uh... For the FU side, we got, you know, what's our team name again? Uh, the Social Reality. Social Reality versus the Strange Bedfellows. With bitch ass John. For the that Trios team. Championship. Yes, for the Trios side. And uh, Tommy Vendetta versus. Yeah, whatever Tommy Vendetta's doing. <laughs> you might have to cut that out. <laughs> yeah. Then we got uh, Adam Wick versus your boy, Ladon. Yeah. Which should be good. <laughs> should be one of the best. We're going to be watching that one up right. close and personal. As we always do at FE, you can see the social reality commentary team. Yes, we do have a commentary team. We're usually about a third table back sitting right next to Briar Wellington. Okay, well, what is your thoughts on, the, on TKW versus FU? Uh, because they got to be running against each other on purpose. Well, I know one is running against the other on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm, well. All I'm going to say is, is one of those already had the date booked. And <laughs> a, the other promotion saw that they had that date booked and made sure to pick that day as well. Well, all right. Well. But we're the petty ones. Moving on. <laughs> all right. Bye, bad. So, I like to call this the chair shot heard around the world. Oh, the 360 no scope? I call it the roaring chair shot. I posted it. I put well, it on Well, if I you saw call it, it the roaring, someone might have a problem with that, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah. The TJ chair shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now look who's naming names. So, I was on vacation, and I saw, or no. No, I wasn't. I was at work, actually. I was back. Yeah, this is your first day back. Yeah, first day back. I'm at work. I'm on break. I see a video of the Soul Taker. Shouts out to you, bro. Shouts out. Doing a chair shot, and he turned around and hit Merv. So, 
But it was fluent as fuck. I didn't think anything of it. I saw Atlas had posted this, and he, I forgot what he said, but I shared it, and I said, oh my god, a roaring chair shot. I, how did I not think of this? Because I've never seen a spinning chair shot. Well, you can steal it now. I am. What? That's already, that's already all we do. That. All we do I'm, is steal. I've already got, well, We'll moves, talk about moves, that brother. later. Don't say it. Right. Right. The rules. <laughs> We've got the rules. <laughs> we should do it. But anyway, so I, I saw that, right? Yeah. And I didn't think anything of it. Little did I know. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Apparently, this was the biggest controversy of the week, I think. Yeah, Murph. Murph. Murph ain't even do shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Murph. Fuck, Maybe bro. Maybe he actually does suck. Because well, no. apparently, he just keeps getting all this controversy. Well, no, this He's is, basically us. Th- yeah, this is our exact career arc. Don't worry, Murph. In about two months, you're going to have a banger match, and then people are going to start saying you're good. <laughs> Trust me. It happened with us. He <laughs> faced Jason Hodge and started getting getting booked against all these good people. I got booked against Adam Wick and then I faced you 15 more times. <laughs> Don't worry, Murph. <laughs> Hang in there, bud. Trust me, it all turns out well. Yeah. Hey, in about six months, he might have his own podcast. You know what? True. <laughs> Saving the business. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Murdering the corporation. Oh my god. But, uh, moving on. (laughs) Moving on. I thought the chair shot was fucking sweet. I didn't think anything of it, but apparently it was controversial. Whatever. Oh yeah, under your post, some people had some shit to say about that. Oh my god. (laughs) You wanna go in about that? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, fuck. So, uh, Mrs. Bovato, we thought she was... Well... Or I thought she was going off on you. (laughs) For a second. So she, what does it say? Can you say what it said? Or oh, I like think she deleted paraphrased. But can you paraphrase like what it said? Basically, it was "fuck you." You can't say shit. You don't know how to throw a forearm. So I read that at work. I left break, so I just picked up my phone. Don't tell anyone. And uh, I <laughs> looked at the, I saw the message, the the comment, and I was like, "What the fuck did I do to her? I thought we were friends." <laughs> and it said, "With well, the point." That it said you don't know how to throw a forearm. I was like, I was like, all right, well, who else could she be talking about? <laughs> yeah, who throws a thousand forearms a match? But in I my mean, head, TJ Byer also does. Forearms. Yeah, right. Uh, but in my head, I kind of like there was a little bit of doubt where I thought she was talking about me, but I mainly didn't think she was talking about me because I'm like, we're friends. There's no way she put that. But yeah. it was the only comment, so I thought, okay, she must be talking about Atlas because. And here's why. Because I shared Atlas' post, and he had a comment on there, too. So I'm like, she's talking about Atlas? Like, so I posted under there, who, me? And then she said, no, never you. And she probably messaged me, like, no, Peter, put some dump. Well, can I say what she said? Uh, you just bleep the <laughs> name. Just bleep she's, the name. It's okay, I'm sure I can say it. She said, yeah. that guy said some dumb shit <laughs> and deleted it. I was like, oh, makes sense. So... I love how That's the only I'm name that we won't bleep out on this show is TJ Meyer. Well, we're not, I'm not bleeping out some. <laughs> Just that those three beginning names you said would definitely we would definitely get some comments. Bro, you <laughs> you said you were gonna edit that things out like six times already, bro. Well, that name in the beginning, I'm editing out. <laughs> we are not mentioning that one there. Subscribe to the Patreon to get the uncensored version. Speaking of Just uncensored, kidding, we don't have a speaking of uncensored, right. I took, a, so from the chair shot heard around the world, or the chair shot from hell, to the car ride from hell, because oh, I I took a trip, I had the unfortunate pleasure of taking a car ride with Mr. Brutus Atwell, and you know, we were on our way to a show, mm-hmm. so you know. No, weren't even going home. You know. Fresh. <laughs> Fresh but, day hasn't started yet. Well, you know, you're not supposed to work. Yeah, you know. Work the wrestlers. Yeah. You know. I think Brutus takes his gimmick seriously. Because. You don't say. I'm still airing out my car. <laughs> I'm still airing it out. So, <laughs> I'm telling you, Brutus. Bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what? I mean, I, I commend I mean... you for taking the, the Shrek gimmick to heart. And seriously, but you know, I'm still here in my car out. That's all. I'm, let we'll just we'll move uh, on. From speaking now. of taking things to heart, the TJ Meyer did your move against Billy Ray Daniels. Oh, how do you feel? And then 
Actually, you know what? If you allow me to tell the whole story. Okay. I wasn't that excited, though. <laughs> Well, this is just what I saw from my perspective. So TJ's wrestling against Billy Daniels. You know, I'm cheering for Billy Daniels to win because Billy likes me and TJ doesn't. <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> All right. I just had to throw that in there. So the match is going on and we're watching it, you know, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. We're watching it. Then you say we. I wasn't there. All right. Yeah, not Zoe. <laughs> By we, I mean me and the one other person. I'm not going to say his name because okay, I don't want right. to get him heat. But, um... We were watching, and Billy Ray's on his knees, not thinking anything of it. And then TJ does the TJ elbow, which, cool, I always pop for that move, especially when TJ does it. And then he covers Billy. One. Ah, kick out. Strong as fuck, baby. Strong as fuck. And, and the crowd is silent at this oh. point. It is silent. No, this is why I'm saying this. This is why I'm saying this, because you can just hear me in the background go, Fuck yeah, Billy! Fuck that move! Kick out in one! Let's go! And TJ is just deadpan staring at me the entire time. And I'm clapping, I'm staring right the fuck back at him, because I gotta let him know. Hey man, when I do the move, you know, people at least kick out it too. When I do it. Just saying. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't even the petty part, is it? <laughs> Shouts out to the TJ Elmo. <laughs> Shouts out TJ Meyer. Also. I pinned Hannah Henderson with that. Speaking of Hannah Henderson. Oh boy, Jesus Christ. I looked on Facebook somehow, some way. I, I didn't type her name in. Something happened to where I saw that we're not friends on Facebook no more. Well, that's because you are the biggest piece of shit ever. You took TJ Meyer's move. <laughs> What did I do to Anna Henderson that she deleted me on Facebook? I could probably tell just, you what I did. I don't think that's... Wait, she deleted you too? I mean, probably. <laughs> if I had to guess, it's probably because we talked about it on the podcast. I'm sorry. Uh, if, that, if everyone that I talked about on this podcast deleted me, my friend list would be much smaller, brother. Yeah, mine is already small as <laughs> I'm cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cut. <laughs> you gotta keep this in, you know? Wait, so speaking of small, though. So. <laughs> so. Speaking of small, or the opposite. I don't know. Uh, Jesus, um, allegedly. So. <laughs> allegedly the opposite. So I remember way, way long ago. Back when he we, was jumping Jack Price. <laughs> yes, Mr. Jack Price. We were watching, you know, wrestling like we do. Me and Top Gun and some yes. other people at our house. Yes, and that we, we that. saw a Allegedly. match of Jack Price from back in the day where he was wearing trunks. And we are just watching his entrance. And then Top Gun goes... <laughs> Jesus, when he put his fucking dick away? Yeah, because it was out. His whole dick was out. <laughs> or so you thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's the twist. <laughs> we just found out, thanks to some guy on Facebook that put Jack Price business out, that shit. Well, well uh, we're doing that right now. <laughs> well, it was on Facebook. Actually, it's already no, done. No, you know what? Fuck that. We got clearance from Jack Price. We We actually know we can talk about this. I hope he said yes, because we didn't look at the video of him saying that he could answer it. Here's my phone, and here he is. He said, LOL, I don't care. All right, cool. <laughs> cool. That's right. Live podcast research. Yep. We, we're out here. We yep, really yep, do yep, this. Yep, yep. If, you, um, if you look right there, this is probably really bad. Proof. There. There you go. So... Uh, so do you think he wears it, a cup? If you had to make an educated guess. Jack Price? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that not the subject? We know. Oh, yeah. So the video, so the, the tights that you thought was a that, we <laughs> found out he used to wear a cup. Which, damn. <laughs> I don't have a response to that. I, Why wear trunks and wear a cup? Well, I think like maybe like he was new and he thought everyone wore a cup. You but know, I guess people in the back found out. I don't know how. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why we brought that shit up. Well, you thought you thought that he just had a 
massive dong. <laughs> well, because it was literally <laughs> not you, saying it does. You see, I Jack. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> the fuck. This is the the segment of talking about Jack Price's dong. <laughs> <laughs> Ding but, dong, Jack Price is here. <laughs> well, because when he would move, right. like, <laughs> so when when Jack Price would move, he'd come to a stop, but there was a part of his body that would still be moving, and it was noticeable. <laughs> and the whole time we were watching Top Gun, just kept talking about his dog. Hey, hey, hey. You did it. I'm no, not I lying. did. Brother, no, I'm I did. not lying. You make it sound like I was just watching his you're, dick the I mean, entire you were, time. You were going like this. Yeah, so I wouldn't look at his dick. <laughs> you're like, it's just there. When he put that thing because away. Because it was. And then he said, thank God Jack Price stopped wearing tights. That's right, cups. Jack. You made the right decision doing but that. But it was a cup, so he took the cup out. Well, we didn't know that at the time. We just found out. Yeah, we watched that match months out. of last year, 2021. Yeah. Maybe. And now we find out that it was a cup, and people are teasing them about it on uh, on Facebook. So. <laughs> we just thought we'd bring it up. Maybe he still wears a cup. It's just a smaller cup. Babe, babe. <laughs> like, I don't know what you want me to say to that. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, so these gas prices are high as fuck. Uh, right, huh? You yeah. came home and... Uh, you saw the hell that everybody else had been enduring. Yeah, for the past I was week. on vacation and I get back and yeah. So I said, "Yo, brother, uh, uh-huh. these uh, wrestling bookings are <laughs> they might slow down a bit, <laughs> or the rate goes up. Either one. That's true. That's true. That's true. But uh, hey, that's that that that's all I got to say about gas prices. Yeah, fuck gas prices. Either the bookings slow down or the rate goes up. And, yeah." If I had to give you some advice, don't get premium gas right now. Get the cheapest shit you can. I agree. What's next? Well, speaking of advice, what's <laughs> the worst piece of advice you've ever been given when you were starting out as a wrestler? Oh, God. You have to go first because i got to think about this. All right. Well, you, I think you know the story behind this Uh-oh, one. Oh, I don't. What is about to happen? But, uh, so... <laughs> What the fuck? It's lame as fuck. And then I just started stealing moves. And I got over for it, so... Uh, uh, <laughs> holy shit. Now, now that I fucking put one person on blast specifically, is there anybody else that you would like to bury? The worst advice I've, give, I've, been, I've been given is probably, like, the cliche. A lot of people got this, like, uh change your name it'll never get over but i mean shit oh yeah people also told me that too change your name it'll never get over you can't use a forearm as a finisher even though oh my god you you know what's fucking wild they were saying so tj meyer supposedly you've said his name a lot you've said his name a lot i i don't give a shit (laughs) I, i don't (laughs) <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> but, like, that's crazy. They say you can't use a forearm as a finish at the same time TJ was using a forearm as a finish. And I know who told you that. So knowing who told you that, it makes even less fucking sense no. as to why they told you that. So someone told me, uh, it was it was like, not, I don't think it's who you think, but there's a difference. Someone told me, I mean, I just don't get it. Like, I don't know about that. Never Ushi mind. Kuroshi. I know. I, I know who it is. Just <laughs> off, just off the first couple words, <laughs> I already know who said it. So someone said, "I just don't get it." I mean, that Ushi Garoshi, man. I mean, like, you do a Ushi Garoshi as a signature, but a forearm is your finisher. Like, like make it make sense. And Shawn I said, Michaels is finishes and I, the super kick. Well, I, I said, "Wait!" I said, "Wait!" What did you say? And they said, "I mean, I'm just saying, like, you do an Ushi Garoshi as a setup move." And your finisher is a forearm. And I said, one more time, what did you say? And then they said it. And I, I said, you said it don't make sense. And I and they said, yeah. And I said, well, why don't you fucking tell AJ Styles it doesn't make sense? Because you know what? His finisher is a forearm. And his setup move is a Ushi fucking Garoshi. The greatest wrestler, <laughs> arguably, of all fucking time. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, and now that that's out of the way, let's 
Put, Put them, them over, over brother. Over. Let's yeah. fucking go. Now that we both buried two random individuals, we will now put two random individuals over, and I will go first. Okay, surprisingly, <laughs> because I actually prepared for this segment today. Okay. So I would like to put over Kyler Coleman. Surprisingly, I don't know if that's a surprise to you. Yeah, you keep you. putting over these green fucks. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad, bro. Shit. Shit. <laughs> But nah, man, I've always enjoyed Kyler's in-ring work ever since training. I mean, that's not a secret. We've always, like, we haven't always seen eye-to-eye and shit, but I enjoy every single one of his matches. Dope wrestler Kyler Colvin. We Shouts out to you. We haven't seen eye-to-eye either. It's okay. <laughs> that is very true, actually. The question is, was I talking about me and Kyler or me and Top Gun? Exactly. See, we should really... If, Two of my tag partners. If we're going to ruin our careers, we should do a Patreon episode where people have to pay... <laughs> To get the uncensored version where we just name drop everybody. Oh, God. Well, Cody Fleming, shouts out to him, said he likes watching and trying to guess who we're talking about. He suggested about. that to me. At, oh, he said he did that? Yeah, at a show. Oh, so you fucking just kept saying it, acting like yes, it was yours? because it is my idea. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, look, he told me the idea and then I made it mine. Okay. Just like how you took TJ's move and made it yours. <laughs> Same all right, thing. All right, all right, I guess it's my turn. I this week would like to add, to put over the Black Diamond Jack Price Impact Superstar Deathmatch Legend. Literally the nicest guy I've met in wrestling. I love talking to Jack Price. I love sharing a locker room with Jack Price. I I used to call him Uncle Jack because he's just he's just like that nice uncle. Like He's just great. I remember the first time I met him. I think this was the first. I was at an IPW. My very first IPW, I think. Pretty sure. And he comes up to me. I already knew who he was. Had no clue he knew who the fuck I was. He's like, family y'all. Oh, my man. Oh, and you be throwing them full on. Oh, I saw you versus that Justin Tom. You were fucking his ass up. <laughs> and he just, he's like, man. Love Family Young. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it threw me off. I had no clue he knew who I was. Then whenever I saw him in the locker room, he's like, Family Young, my man. <laughs> he was literally the uncle at the barbecue. <laughs> like, he literally is. He's you know the what? nicest guy. He's definitely one of the top four, one of the pillars of Michigan, one of the best. And he just got signed, and he's the most humble. The most humble out of everyone, the nicest, and I, I hope that when we get that good, if we get that good, we can be as humble as Jack Price. I'm just, I'm still trying to get over the impression. Like, I've never prepared for it. <laughs> You've done it so many times, and I'm. Never oh my prepared god! For it when I have my match with him at Metro Pro, uh, he was late as fuck behind the scenes. <laughs> match had started. The show had started. I was freaking out, anxious as hell. Kyler's matches first with my group. Well, our group, Critical Content. They're all out there. Kyler just won. And I guess that's when Jack Price walked in. I'm in the locker room. Jack Price comes up to me. He's like, man, I thought your ass was out there already. I said, God damn. There's no way he says that after every sentence. I said, God damn. There's no way Jack Price in the Impact locker room just says, God damn, after every sentence. And, I mean, he just let us talk about his dick for like 10 minutes. So, shouts out to you, Jack nicest guy I've probably the nicest guy I've probably met in my entire life yeah he's very nice very nice definitely smiles all the time I don't think I've ever seen him like I have he had his boys back when someone was talking shit about him oh <laughs> yeah yeah I've such heard, a, I've such heard about great that. friend you know great he's friend. a family guy yeah huge dick allegedly oh god <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Well, I think that's <laughs> our time to sign out for this episode of KTV Top Gun Forever Young, and we will catch you later. And yeah, see you later. Who the fuck would have thought we made it seven episodes? Not me.